The yellow ball in the center is the sun, going around it once a year, the Earth. Both Earth and sun show much bigger than in real life. Seasons are caused by the tilt of Earth's axis. To see this better, let's stop time and change our point of view. We'll move to a place where we can see that the Earth is tilted compared to its orbit. First, the March equinox. We'll stop time and change our point of view so we can compare daytime and nighttime on Earth. All parts of Earth get equal amounts of day and night at the March equinox. Now we let three months go by. Earth's North Pole always points toward the North Star. At the June solstice, we stop time again and look closer at Earth. In June, Earth's Northern Hemisphere gets much more sunlight than the Southern Hemisphere, so it's summer in the North and winter in the South. Three months later, we reach the September equinox. Earth's North Pole still points toward the North Star. We'll change point of view so we can look closer and compare daytime and nighttime in September. At the September equinox, all parts of Earth get equal amounts of day and night, just as they did back in March. Three months later, the December solstice. That same tilt of the Earth now causes the northern hemisphere to get much less sunlight than the southern hemisphere. It's winter in the northern hemisphere and summer in the southern hemisphere. Earth's northern and southern hemispheres always have opposite seasons. The seasons are not caused by changes in distance between Earth and Sun. They are caused by the tilt of Earth's axis compared to its orbit.